Hello YouTube. About two years ago, around the same time of the year, I made a video about catch and cook northern kingfish. But this year, in the heat of the summer, the northern kingfish showed up in good numbers on the beach. So I decided to make a video about how to target them when they're around. I will go through several things uh, from rigs, bait, how to choose fishing spots on the beach and all other things you need to know to target them. Northern kingfish are fun to catch and very good to eat. Now let's talk about rigging. The setup is fairly simple. You can use hooks anywhere from size 6 to size 2. If you're using bait like squid or clams, I highly recommend you to use a bait holder hook. If you are going to use live bait, which I will talk about towards the end of this video, bait holder hooks will work, but the wider gap octopus hook might be better. I use high-low rig and a swivel to the main line, a snap for the sinker. Generally speaking, if the sea is not too rough, you can get away with a 2 ounce or maybe less weight sinker. When I go to the beach, the first thing I'm going to look at is the structure. There are many different structures on the beach, for instance, ribs, cuts, troughs, bars, etc. But when it comes down to kingfish, there are a couple of things to look at. First, the outflow. It can be just a small rip current where the water goes out, or a much larger one. Second, shell beds. You will be find a stretch of beach covered with broken shells. And the third thing to look at is sand fleas or mole crab, if you will, in the surf. If you find a spot that has all three things, you might find the honey hole. I don't like my base sit still in the water after the sinker sinks to the bottom. I'll retrieve it back very slowly and let the bait sit for a little bit and then move the bait again by doing this your bait will not get stolen by crabs and you're actually covering different parts of the water many hookups i got in this video were right at the beach lip where the wave started to break This year, I finally bought a casting net. In this clip, I was just blind casting the net, trying to see what bait is in the water. Then I caught a bunch of squid. There were also butterfish in the water at the time. But uh, anyways, I took the squid home, put them in the freezer. When it's time to use them as bait, I defrost them. Cut the squid into strips, and then I put a lot of salt in a bag and let the squid sit in the salt over several nights in the fridge. This salting process will toughen up the strip so it stays on the hook longer and uh, became harder for fish to steal.
the, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned looking for sand fleas in the surf. I think it is one of the prime bait for fishing for northern kingfish. Not only it's easy to find, and uh, the best part, this bait is also free. You don't even need to bring bait to the beach. In this last clip, I've actually tried to put on one of the smaller sand fleas on the low hook. And uh, the fish actually took the sand flea in this uh, last clip. So I hope you'll find this video useful. If you like my videos, please comment below, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.